closer in the majlis of the closer to the mercy and rahmat of Allah. Away from majlis of the away from rahmat and mercy of Allah. Inshallah, there will be a talk now. After that, there will be dua. With dua, wal istama will end. And inshallah, after that, food arrangements have been done. All the brothers are requested to have lunch and then discuss from the masjid, inshallah. All already? What? To listen to bayan or to have lunch? Both, inshallah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidil Anbiya wal Mursaleen Amma ba'ad Alif la a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alif Lam Mim Zalik Al Kitab Al Aray Bafi Hudal Lil Muttaqin Al Ladina Yuminun Bil Ghaib Wa Yuqimun As Salah Sadaq Allah Al Azim Respected Elders and dear brothers, the creator of mankind has classified mankind and that is the perfect classification. Human beings cannot be perfect. Perfection is the attribute and sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the most, human beings can be excellent. Kamil. Free from all defects. Is the sole attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No human being, however intelligent he is, However powerful he is, how much ever talented he is, he cannot be free from defects. Quddus, Subhan, every time we glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by using these words, Subhana Rabbi Al-Ala Full of sanctity, full of purity and full of divinity is my Lord. So his creation is perfect. His calculation is perfect. Similarly his classification is the perfect classification. The creator of mankind has classified human beings. In Surah Al-Baqarah, in the beginning itself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, one group of people, one section of people, Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu, yu'minuna bil ghayb. And Allah has addressed them, Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu, O believers, So a section of the human beings in the world are believers. And a section of people in the world, till the day of judgment, there will be non-believers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has addressed them, Ya yuhal lazina kafaru. The people who deny, 
the people who reject the people who do not accept believers non believers and there is a third section of people allah subhanahu wa taala says wa minan nasi man yaqulu amanna billahi there is a small section of people who say we believe in allah and we believe in yawmul akhirah we believe in allah and we believe in yawmul akhirah the day of judgment then allah subhanahu wa taala says they say they believe they say they believe wa ma hum bi mu'minin but they are not believers their tongues say they believe but their hearts have not accepted the belief of existence of allah of power of allah of greatness of allah of purity of allah and they have not accepted about the reality of life after death they may say that we have believed but allah says wa ma hum bi mu'minin they are not believers allah should make us all in the first section we have to we are in the first section we have to be thankful and grateful to allah subhanahu wa taala that we are all believers believe in what believe in believe in the unseen you minuna bil ghaib they believe in the unseen allah is not seen but we believe in allah these human eyes do not have the capacity to see allah these human eyes do not have the capacity to see corona virus how can they see allah minutest of the things have been created by allah subhanahu wa taala and biggest of the things have been created in the universe by allah subhanahu wa taala our earth is a very small object in the universe of allah subhanahu wa taala very small bahut chota hai a few years back we visited australia in jamaat there we happened to meet an astrophysicist your brother also was there in jamaat with us dr anisa both of us we went to visit him he said recently 200 billion galaxies have been discovered how many 200 billion billion at that time the population of india was 1 billion so immediately i calculated allah has got so much of property that every indian can get 200 galaxies अल्लाह की कायनात बहुत बड़ी है अल्लाह यूनिवर्स इज वेरी वास्ट ह्यूज एंड देन ही सेड द यूनिवर्स इज एक्सपैंडिंग एंड एक्सपैंडिंग एंड एक्सपैंडिंग अवर डॉक्टर सर ही इंटरप्रेट एंड ही सेड सॉरी सर सॉरी टू इंटरप्रेट यू डोंट से द यूनिवर्स इज एक्सपैंडिंग प्लीज से दैट यू आर नॉलेज इज एक्सपैंडिंग universe is expanding or the knowledge is expanding we are coming to know new things allah has created these things years and years and centuries and centuries ago and everything has been created with a purpose rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batilan nothing has been created without any purpose So he is the creator of the universe and vast universe, and he is not seen. So we are not able to see those planets. We are not able to see those galaxies with these bare eyes. How our eyes will have the capacity to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? It has to be aided. Allah created microscope through which we see the minutest of the organisms, and Allah created telescope so that we see the distant most. 
objects that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created and Allah says these creations have been created so that you look at the creation and recognize the creator. Allah ki zat waraul wara hai. What is the meaning? Allah is above imagination. Deen is not illogic. Deen is super logic. Illogic or super logic? Insan ka dimaag bhoat kamzor hai. After 60, Brown's degeneration sets in. And such a weak brain we have. Memory given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But that memory, subhanallah, name memory, place memory. Death memory. Some people, they remember the names very nicely, but they don't remember the places. They would have gone three times, fourth time also they will be rounding about their itself. I cannot remember. These are all memory, orientation, intelligence. All has been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, when you were created, when you were created and brought out from the wombs of your mother, la ta'alamuna shayyan, you did not know anything. A chick when it comes out of the egg, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the knowledge of necessity to that chick. How small is that chick and how small is that brain? Like in that small chick has got the capacity to differentiate between a grain and a pebble. Kaun sa dana khane ka hai aur kaun sa dana chhodne ka hai. This knowledge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to that small chick. The mother does not teach that small chick that this has to be eaten and this has to be left. Who gets this knowledge? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets. The knowledge of necessities and the knowledge of securities and protection is given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all the other creations before they are born. But this human being comes into this dunya and then starts learning. Allah Ta'ala says, you look at yourself, then you will recognize me. These human beings are so limited in their capacities, they cannot create a hair. Can anyone create a hair? That which grows and that which grays. Growing and graying hair. Hair, bal ni bana sakte. Allah has given us shape. One of his names is Musabbir. The one who gives shape. And the shape as desired by him. Yusabbirukum fil arhami kaifa yasha. You have been created in the wombs of the mother as he liked it, not as we liked it. My face is like how I like it or how Allah liked it. Imagine if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given this option to the mother that you take a chance, you can decide how your son should be or how your daughter should be. Dunya mein koi kala bacha paida hota? Our father was given the option to decide the intelligence of the son. Dunya mein koi bebapu bacha paida hota? Any foolish child, stupid child will be born? This option is enough. You suffer from fear, harmi, kaifa, yasha. We have created you in the human, in the womb of the mother as we wished. And everything has been predestined. Our height is predestined. Predestined? Kya bolta hai medical knowledge? Some good exercise, the height will increase. Our complexion is predestined. Nowadays people deceive and people get deceived also. Hmm? Earlier only ladies used to use fair and lovely. Now even gents are also using. 
लगा लो गोरे कोई गोरा नहीं होता द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ मेलानिन पिगमेंट इन द सेल व्हाट दैट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन हैज टू बी हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय अल्लाह सुभान व तआला एट द सिलेक्शन ऑफ द स्पर्म वरना एक बच्चा गोरा होता है उसी बाप का और दूसरा बच्चा काला होता है बिकॉज इट इज अल्लाह हु सिलेक्टेड द स्पर्म आउट ऑफ द 60 मिलियन स्पर्म्स that is there in 1 ml of semen even if it becomes 40 million the people say your counts are less you cannot have children out of those 60 million sperms allah has selected one sperm and that is me that selection of sperm also was not left to my father <laughs> it was entirely and nothing happened coincidentally everything is an incident by the wish and will of allah subhanahu wa taala so he has created us but he is not seen so these eyes they do not have the capacity to see allah subhanahu wa taala but allah subhanahu wa taala says look at the creation and recognize the creator and in paradise allah subhanahu wa taala will give us those eyes where we can see allah subhanahu wa taala and we can enjoy the beauty of allah subhanahu wa taala enjoy the beauty of today people enjoy the beauty of girls chup chup ke dekhta hai we will enjoy the beauty allah is beautiful allah hu jamilun yuhibbul jamal allah is beautiful and he likes beauty He has created beauty. Imagine how beautiful he will be. We should have a desire to see him. उसका दीदार करने का शौक हमारे दिलों के अंदर हो, जो दुनिया में अल्लाह का फरमा बरदार बन के जिंदगी गुजारता है. He is an obedient slave of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He will be able to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala on the day of judgment. So the believers who believe in Allah, believers who believe in life after death. non believers they don't believe in the creator and they don't believe in the life after that let us not talk about those people who say they believe but they really don't believe so the basic difference between a believer and a non believer are these two things a believer feels and a believer claims that all that i have in my life is not the result of my efforts but it is the result of mercy and rahmat of allah subhanahu whatever i have is not because of my efforts whatever i have achieved is because of the rahm and karam of allah subhanahu wa taala it is allah who has given me my degree is not the result of my effort my degree is the result of the gift of allah subhanahu wa taala allah has favored me i give some treatment to a patient and the patient gets cured and the patient goes then i also should say and then i should tell the patients also i only gave tablets it is allah who cured you wa iza maristu fa huwa yashfin wa iza maridtu fa huwa yashfin jab main bimar hota hu when i fall sick it is allah who cures the basic first basic difference between a believer and a non believer is a non believer thinks i can achieve everything through efforts and secondly after achieving he starts feeling and he starts proclaiming this is the result of my efforts and the believer says this is the result of rahmat and mercy of allah subhanahu wa taala that is why we do ibadat after iman comes ibadat what is it worship what is ibadat ibadat is a demonstration of gratefulness to allah subhanahu wa taala it's a demonstration of gratefulness oh allah you have given, you have given me this ni'mat you have given me this ni'mat you have given me this ni'mat so i am obedient to you i do your ibadat hamare mama ibrahim sahab kehte hain ni'matein bade to ibadatein bade when the ni'mat increases the ibadat when the payment increases the performance should increase or decrease when the payment increases the performance should increase and why we do ibadat why we do salat why we do tawaddu because second second meaning of ibadat is 
it is the demonstration of helplessness in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, you are powerful and I am helpless. I cannot do anything without your will and wish. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles in the human body. Heart is a if it was voluntary, was a ruknesh that any there. The muscles of the eye are voluntary. So why the voluntary muscles were given? The voluntary muscles were given to see how he utilizes these organs. That option was given to see how these these his actions are there because everything depends on his actions. All his akhirat will be dependent on his actions. Helplessness. We are all helpless. At one point of time in everyone's life, every human being feels that I am helpless and I cannot do anything. One of my friends, psychiatrist, very famous and popular psychiatrist of Central Karnataka. He expired during COVID times. He was doing a lot of service also. About four or five years back, I got a call from his friend. Then I went to visit him after he was well. He said, I was seeing patients. Every Sunday he visits the peripheral villages. I was seeing patients. About 60 patients were waiting outside. I was seeing the third patient. And the work of a psychiatrist is talking, right? Psychotherapy. Tablets less, counseling and talking more. So he was talking to the patient and suddenly he was unable to talk. Suddenly he went into aphasia. He was not able to talk. He tried, he couldn't talk. Immediately he ran to the director of the hospital and he gave it in writing that I am not able to talk. And the director also was a doctor, so he realized some cerebrovascular accident is going on. Immediately MRI was done and at the speech center, a small embolus equal to the size of a pin dot was struck. Immediately he was thrombolized and Alhamdulillah in 15-20 days he could get back his speech. After that I went to visit him. He said, Dr. Saab, Allah ne mujhe bata diya, teri saari psychiatry ki mehnat mera ek dot hai. Teri saari psychiatry ki mehnat, all the efforts which you did. How many years? How many years? MBBS? Five and a half. And then? Three years? MD psychiatry. Eight and a half years, no? So what about the efforts before that? Immediately you go to MBBS. <laughs> 12 years before that and 3 years of kindergarten before that. 3 years plus 12 years, 15 years and then 5 and a half, 20 and a half years and then, then entrance exit, entrance exit that is there. 1 or 2 years and then once again 3 years of psychiatry and then immediately people don't come to him. He should become a popular psychiatrist a Pan Salka experience and after that at 35 when at the peak of the career Allah showed him that all these efforts of 35 years is a small dot. So this ibadah is the demonstration of helpless of Allah, helplessness of the human being in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why we say Allahu Akbar. Ke Allah, you are great. Greatness is only for Allah. What is the meaning of Allahu Akbar? Allah is the greatest? No. How can we compare Allah with anyone? Great, greater, greatest. With whom you are going to compare Allah? Walam yakullahu kufuan ahad. Allah cannot be compared with anyone. Greatness is only for Allah. Greatness is only for Allah. Allah, you are very great and I am your obedient servant. I don't have powers. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een. Allah, we do your ibadah so that you help me at every step. I am dependent of your help at every step of my life, at every walk of my life, even in blinking my eyes. 
I am dependent on your mercy. Blinking. If we are not able to blink, what will happen? So my dear brothers, this is one. And the second basic difference between a believer and a non-believer is, a non-believer feels with death everything ends. And a believer believes with death everything starts. How much of a difference? With death everything ends. Death is a disaster for him. And Rasulullah says, death is a gift for a moment. Death is a disaster for him and death is a gift for a moment because he will be rewarded for all the difficulties he has faced. Every difficulty will be rewarded. The real place of reward is, is Jannah. This dunya is not a place of reward. Ye darul imtihan hai. This is a place of examination and the place of judgment and the place of reward. Darul jaza. Maliki Yomiddin, owner of the day of judgment, is only life after death. Logically also we can understand this. No good can be rewarded in this dunya. No evil can be punished in this dunya. This dunya is not a place to get the reward for all the good we do. This dunya is not a place to get the punishment for all the evil one person does. Maliki Yomiddin, owner of the day of judgment. Judgment to Mahoga, examination. Hai. I was discussing with one of the non believers about the concept of Akhirat. In the discussion, this point came up. One person kills another person, murder, and he was caught, and his crime was proved. So, what is the punishment he will be given? What is the punishment? Hang him to death. Justice done, justice is done because it was decided in the Supreme Court. One person killed thousand people. He was caught. His crime was proved. So what is the punishment they will give him? Huh? No, the Supreme Court may was. Huh? Justice? Is this justice? A person who kills one person also gets the same punishment and a person who kills thousand people also gets the same punishment. Is this justice? So to get real justice there should be a different life. A different form of life. And the real life where فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرًّا يَرَى a good equal to that of a particle will be rewarded and evil that equal to that of a particle will definitely be punished. In the books of Hadith it is written a sheep or a goat with horns had a fight with a sheep which did not have horns and pierced the horns. So the other sheep got wounded. Kya karegi vichari? You can do anything. Everything is recorded and everything will be retrieved. Everything will be recorded and everything will be retrieved and the data will be produced. Mali has kitab. لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحسها. When his record will be produced in front of him, he will say, "Mali hazal kitab. ये कैसा data है? ये कैसी किताब है? ये कैसा chip है? Smallest of the things is record. لا يغادر صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا أحسها. Everything is recorded. Everything is computed here. So on the day of judgment, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will resurrect. One of the names of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is Maid. क्या है? Muid, Muid means the one who can resurrect, the one who can recreate, recreate. We die, everything is over. No, everything is not over after we die. ये बात कुफार ए मक्का को समझ में नहीं आती थी। The कुफार of मक्का used to say, how is it that possible that we die and we become mud and once again how we will be created from the mud? 
A person is burnt and his ashes are thrown in the river and that river flows into the ocean and everything is gone. How can he be created? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks in Quran to create a thing for the first time is difficult to create a thing for the second time is difficult. Pahli bar mushkil hai ke dusri bar mushkil hai. You were non-existent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you. Now your material is there. Only thing is that material is what is your age? Twenty? Three. Where were you 24 years back? Where were you 24 years back? Non-existent. Where were you before coming into the earth? Before coming into this world, we were in the womb of the mother. Before coming into the womb of the mother, we were in the sperm of the father. Before coming into the sperm of the father, we were in the hormones of the father. Before coming into the hormones of the father, we were in the blood of the father. Before coming into the blood of the father, we were in the foot of the father. Before coming into the foot of the father, we were in different forms of energy, segregated in different places of the universe. We were in the sunlight. Allah converted that energy into food and that food was consumed and that food got converted into blood. Any machine where you put food and it gets converted into blood. And from that blood Allah created hormone, from that Allah created sperm and from that sperm Allah created such a beautiful human being. This is the power of creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah who has done once can do it another time. And we are answerable to Allah for all our deeds on the day of judgment. If we have done good, we will be rewarded and rewarded immensely. Exponentially we will be rewarded. Exponentially, can you imagine? In the book of Hadith it is written, Muzaf means exponential returns. And similarly, if a person does evil, he will be punished. And there, there is not going to be any death. This concept of akhirah, the concept of accountability to the creator on the day of judgment, if it is strong in the hearts, there is iman. And this is the only thing which can make human beings, which can make human beings non corrupt only one CCTV is there means everyone is mashallah Sufi Sarmat Shaheed Rahmatullahi <laughs> only one CCTV is there <laughs> someone is monitoring someone is monitoring my Allah is monitoring my activities not only my activities my Allah is monitoring my intentions my Allah is monitoring my emotions and this concept of akhirat has to be made strong, my dear brothers. Then life in dunya will become easy. We had a discussion in the hospital that when we get patients who are terminally ill, especially in malignancy, where only palliative care is given, no curative care is given, whether we should inform him that he has got malignancy or no. Kya raha hai, doctor? Unki bol. Should we inform the patient that he has got cancer or should we not inform the patient that he has got cancer? We have to inform by right to information. Right to inform. How many say we should inform? Can you just lift your hand, students? Hmm. Very few. We should not inform. So divided. Similarly, doctors were divided. Few of the doctors said we should inform and few of the doctors said we should not inform. Then a doctor who was very wise, hikmat taqwa ke aata hai. The more we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more wisdom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He came and said, there is nothing like we should say and we should not say. Look at the dini condition of the patient. If a person believes in life after death and he is very strong about it, gradually, directly or indirectly, you reveal it to him that your days are numbered. So then his focus will change. E dunya to chut rahi hai. Let me start preparing for akhirat. He'll start repenting. He'll do istighfar. He will do salat. Then he'll help others. And then he will ask for forgiveness from those people whom he has he has abused. 
or he is he has pain their hearts so this two or three years of life will be a boon for him and once the focus is there about akhirat 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 has a higher at a higher level then what happens he is ready to bear the most difficult of the pains those pains in which even narcotics do not help he is he can bear it because uska focus akhirat ki taraf aa gaya so this life has become a boon to him at the same time if a person does not believe or he says he believe but he really does not believe if you tell him that your days are numbered after 2 years you are going to die you have got cancer then what will he do he may die after 2 years but every day he will die in oh, i am dying i am dying this fear will kill him my dear brothers just one simple example how the concept of akhirat when it is strong it makes life in dunya easy and we will be rewarded only if we believe in akhirat so one thing is we have to make our own iman strong our attachment with allah subhanahu wa taala and our concept of akhirat has to become strong and our way of life should be the life of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sunnat is not an act of just good deed sunnat is an act where there is complete hidayah if we are following sunnat do's and don'ts do's don'ts islam is nothing but these two things do this don't do this see this don't see this eat this don't eat this go here don't go here wear this don't wear this think about this don't you never imagine about this hmm. this is all islam is so we are going to see that which is permitted and we are not going to see that which is prohibited he is a muslim हमारे एक बुजुर्ग दुआ करते हैं उर्दू में बोलता हूँ बाद में ट्रांसलेट करता हूँ दुआ करते हैं अल्लाह मेरी आंखों को मुसलमान बना दे क्या दुआ कर रहे थे अल्लाह मेरी आंखों को ओला मेक माय आईज मुस्लिम फिर आगे दुआ कर रहे थे अल्लाह मेरी ख्वाहिशों को मुसलमान बना दे Allah, my desires also should become Muslims. Now imagine what is the difference between my desire and my non believer colleagues' desire. Any difference? Any different? Uska bhi desire wohi, aur iska bhi desire wohi. Jaise Urdu mein kehte hain, zindagi ke hain chhe nishan, roti, kapda aur makan, bivi, bache aur dukan. Roti, good food, kapda, good to wear, all possessions, then good house, bivi, very beautiful wife, do bache, aur fir makan, clinic, dukan, shop aur clinic. Oh, we have achieved everything. That is his desire, and that is my desire. What should be the desire of a Muslim? The desire of a Muslim should be to completely follow the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. By hearts we should be Muslims, means iman. By thoughts we should be Muslims, means the fikr of akhirat. By words we should be Muslims, means talking about the greatness of Allah. By deeds we should be Muslims, means the actions of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And last but not the least, to look at also we should be Muslims. To look at, look at the Muslim jara, look at the Muslim jara. Our deeds, our actions, our words. It's a complete reformation way of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. First time when I went in Jamaat, I was a medical student first year. Anatomy dissection was going on, abdomen dissection, sigmoid colon, all those things. I went in Jamaat with one person. He told me, "Aji doctor sa bhoji ha. First year me doctor ban jaate Jamaat me gaya. Aji doctor sa come here." Then he said, "I will teach you how to sit in the toilet, in the washroom." He said, "Okay, according to Sunna." Then he said, "You should squat." Then he said, "Keep your left elbow onto your left iliac fossa, and your hands like this, and this hand." Like this. He was telling, and my anatomy was opening. I said, "Left hand in the left iliac fossa, sigmoid colon is in the." Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did he do any dissection? 
डिफिकेशन followed by the way of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam can be so scientific and so healthy imagine if the whole life is as that of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam how healthy and beautiful that life is one step inside the washroom or toilet according to the way of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam will make you one step closer to allah subhanahu wa taala isse pyara din koi ho sakta hai You are getting inside the toilet and washroom according to the way of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One step up toilet ke andar rakhe hain aur one step up Allah se close hain. People want to see this way of life. People want to see Islam and Islam will be in our lives, similarly in our practice. Similarly, in our college, but very unfortunately, my dear brothers, today what we say, Mr. Islam, I love you very much. You please be there in the mosque. I will come and meet you on Fridays. Mr. Islam, I love you very much. You be in the mosque. I'll come and meet you five times daily. And when I go out, when I go out, is Deen ko, is Islam ko, way of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We have to take it into our professions. our profession is deen any profession is deen there is nothing called deen and dunya any profession rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's footwear broke once upon a time and he stitched it himself to show that the profession of a cobbler is also not a not a, 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 a profession which does not have any value profession of a cobbler also allah ke nazdeek the value is not because of the professions allah ke nazdeek the value is because of this sifat what we have inside it is the people of dunya who say every profession is a good profession people in the profession make it bad if there are good people in the profession that profession becomes a good profession if there are bad people in the profession that profession becomes a bad profession if there are good people it becomes automatically this very unfortunately when this concept of accountability and great of safala is not there now there is a trust deficit between the patient and the doctor what is there patients are afraid doctor oh i don't know what all investigations he will write darte hain patients are afraid to go to the doctor because a list of investigation and doctors are afraid of the patients on doctors day i got a greeting i got an information oh doctors day very good even if you don't greet me no problem please don't beat me if you don't greet me no problem please don't <laughs> beat me doctors are afraid of the patients and patients are afraid of the doctors there is a loss of trust there is a trust deficit because iman has gone so we have to take this deen into our professions logon ko nafa pahunchana deen hai logon se nafa uthana duniya hai logon ko takleef pahunchana bedini hai logon ko nafa pahunchana benefiting the human beings is deen taking benefit from the human beings is duniya and troubling human beings is irreligiosity bedini kya hai logon ko takleef dena bedini hai deen kya hai logon ko nafa pahunchana deen hai khairun nas may anfaun nas best of the human beings is that human being who is of benefit to other human beings if i help him my allah will help me if i feed him my allah will feed me if i forgive him my allah will forgive me and if i try to hide his defects my allah will hide my defects on the day of judgment 
ये है अखलाक नॉट बिकॉज टूडे इफ आई हेल्प मी आई हेल्प हिम टूमारो ही विल हेल्प मी दिस इज नथिंग बट बिजनेस समय डिया ब्रदर्स दीज मॉडल्स हैव टू बी क्रिएटेड रसूलुल्लाह सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम क्रिएटेड मॉडल्स ऑफ ईमान एंड इस्लाम इन द 13 इयर्स ऑफ मक्का in the makkan period of 13 years these models of iman and islam were made and then when they went to madina these models were assembled and the society was formed and that society had simplicity that society had charity and that society had modesty there were people who were ready to give a society was formed in madina and individuals were formed in makkah Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam 23 years of life very short period long back when we were students one book had come the hundred written by one michael hart he had collected the short life uh, life details about 100 great personalities who have passed in this world and everyone depending on their contribution and the changes that were brought about in the world because of their contribution he had ranked them he has given first rank to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam second rank to sir isaac newton and third rank to jesus christ and then in the preface he writes i being a christian why i have given first rank to prophet muhammad then he says he has achieved something which is humanly impossible to achieve and he says shortness of duration 23 years smallness of means he was not given any means he was the unlettered prophet he was the unlettered prophet na padhna jante the na likhna jante the 23 years smallness of means no means before he was born his father expired at the age of 6 his mother expired absolutely no resources smallness of means shortness of duration 23 years and the greatness of achievement what was that greatness of achievement barbaric people and the people who were like beasts they were converted into people who were better than angels insan ban gaye aur behtareen is and just imagine my dear brothers on one side on the northwest room roman civilization and on the southeast persian civilization in between makka arab peninsula these two great civilizations very well established people and a pe- those people who were just like animals in them rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came and he started the efforts gradually people started changing they became great human beings those great human beings were formed and a society was formed in madina and the people were called come come look at our madina and take a decision for yourself islam dikhana padta hai we have to create models but this effort of dawat at tabligh what we want is we want good models in every profession we want good models good human beings good models in every profession be it medicine be it law be it any profession even an auto rickshaw driver it is a profession we want good auto rickshaw driver so an effort my dear brothers which changes people because in the human prism in the human prism 10% of the people are inherently good and 10% of the people are inherently bad 80% of the people if they get good environment acha mahol unhe milta hai to wo acche ban jate hain if they get a good environment they become good and if they get a bad environment they become mahol urdu mein kehte hain mahol and mahol is an arabic word mahol is an arabic word ma hawlahu ma hawlahu your surroundings the people with whom you spend your time and the places where you spend your time these two things the people with whom you spend your time and the places where you spend your time is your mahol and that mahol has got a tremendous impact on the thought process of a person and on the lifestyle of a person 
it has got a silent impact it has got a tremendous impact and it has got an everlasting impact on the life of a person mahol aadmi ko banata hai with due respect to all gynecologists i would like to say one story that when we were students there was a male gynecologist in the department kaun tha male generally it is a female department generally speaking तो ये मेल डॉक्टर भी उनके साथ हो गया माशाल्लाह ही बिकेम वेरी गुड गैनकोलॉजिस्ट बट ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वो चलने भी औरतों की तरह लगने लगा और बातें भी औरतों की तरह करने लगा He He started started talking like like females and he started walking like females and walking because he is spending his time in the company of females. You tell me your friends and I will tell you who you are. A person is known by the company he keeps. The person is known by the company he keeps. If we are in the company of good people, if we are in the company of pious people, we will get the desire to become pious. And that, depending on the intensity of the desire, will be the decision of hidayat from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allahu yajtabi ilayhi man yasha wa yahdi ilayhi man yunib. Allah Taala selects anyone whom He wishes, but generally Allah guides. those people who have got inabat in their hearts and that inabat is the desire the desire to change the desire to become good the desire to do something for the humanity the desire to do something good for the community the desire to become a good human being before i go to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because on the day of judgment allah tara sirf zindagi ko puchhenge lao tumhari zindagi kaisi hai So, my dear brothers, all of us, let us make an intention that we will be a part of this great effort of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. करेंगे इन्शाअल्लाह. Who all will be a part of this effort? Alhamdulillah. So, as it was told before Zohar, going out for once for four months in the path of Allah subhanahu wa taala to learn this effort. We don't say that you go for four months, then you will become perfect. You learn the effort how to become good. You learn the effort how to make a good environment. एक अच्छा माहौल बनाना कैसे बनाना है ये आदमी अल्लाह के रास्ते में निकल करके सीखता है. He learns and I, as I told before Zahar, anything before Zahar, anything that is practical has to be learned in the company of human beings. So this deen, iman, efforts, akhlaq, sifat, this has to be learned in the company of good people. Then in the meantime, mashallah, we, and for students, our elders say we have to be very good at studies. We have to be very unfortunately today nowadays uh, the education system is like hmm, what exam oriented studies, exam oriented studies. Job oriented courses and money oriented jobs. This is the education. Exam oriented studies. Why are you studying? To pass in the exam. Your talents are judged by the examination. In three hours they judge your talent. Exam oriented studies. So which job you want? job oriented courses i will do that course where i will get a good job and which job you want i will do that job where i get in our bengaluru they say choba kya mile choba paise more money quick money easy money more money quick money and easy money i will do that course now my dear brother studying to understand the subject studying to understand the subject our medicine can teach us the greatness of allah anatomy can teach the greatness of allah subhanahu wa taala physiology can teach the greatness of allah subhanahu wa taala pharmacy and medicine and surgery and the patients and the wards and the rounds Every minute you can remember the greatness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Ka tera bolna Allah ka zikr ho, tere khamoshi akhirat ka fikr ho, tera dekhna ibrat ki nazar ho, to jaan le ke tu mumin hai. Every minute we will get closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala if we are studying to understand the subject. 
Why should I understand the subject? So that I have complete control. Research. Research is the concept that has been promoted in Quran. Our elders, the Tabayin, Tabay, Tabayin, the second generation, third generation, fourth generation after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, they were great scientists. They gave such contributions to the mankind that even today mankind remembers them. They say raises, raises. Remember raises? Father of surgery. He is asal me Imam Razi Rahmatullahi alayhi. You go and search in the Google today. <laughs> to look at those other they are Muslims. And such contributions they have given in those days. Because they were studying to know the subject. And they were knowing the subject to help the mankind. Paise ka hoga phir? Paise mukaddar ka aayega. Kahi nahi jayega. How much I am going to earn? It has already been decided. <laughs> has already been decided. More efforts, more money, I find it. Sometimes less efforts, more money. Sometimes more efforts, less money. Sometimes more efforts, no money. Jo hai money, wo bhi chala gaya. Wo to mukhadar ki cheez hai. Like your complexion, like your height, like your intelligence, everything is predestined. How much you are going to earn is also predestined by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So we have to take this deen into our professions and become role models. To become that, we have to learn the effort of deen. So one thing is going out in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeatedly to remind ourselves. Not that we don't know, every one of us know, but we tend to forget. We tend to forget. Bhul gaya. Kya bhul gaya? Allah ko bhul gaya. We have forgotten Allah. To the extent that we are not able to remember in even, even in namaz. Even in prayer, we are not able to remember Allah. So much of negligence is there. So repeated reminder. Wasku Rabbaka is a nasif. When you forget, you remember Allah. Not that we don't know. Repeated reminders going out in the path of Allah. And then you are in the colleges. Inshallah, we have to be representatives of Islam in our college. People should look at us and understand Islam. Our actions, our deeds, everything will reflect what deen is. Hum log Urdu mein students ko kehte hain, Iman walon ke liye amal ki daawat aur ghair Iman walon ke liye amal se daawat. Iman walon ke liye amal ki daawat. How would you translate this? For the believer, ah, Tamil la salunga. Iman walon ke liye amal ki daawat. For the believers, we are going to call them towards deeds, actions. And for the non-believers, we are going to show the actions. Amal se dawat. So now you tell me, which is more louder, actions or words? Actions. So words for the Muslims and actions for the non-Muslims. Words for the Muslims and actions for the non-Muslims. Non-Muslim friends are there, non-Muslim colleagues are there, classmates are there. We have to be a source of their hidayat. Our friend says, four G's. Kete ji? Four G. Greet them. Hi. Don't get secluded. Unke saath rahenge, lekin unke jaise nahi rahenge. Our elders used to give the example that one full tank of water is there and one glass of milk is there. You go and put that milk in one tank of water. What will happen? What will happen? Hey, where is the milk? I said, it was here only. Where is it? It has lost its color. It has lost its identity. And it has lost its taste. So it has lost its value also. So now you put little efforts on that milk. Change it to curds. From that curd you take out butter. Now that butter you go and put in that water. What will happen? What will happen? Hey, I am with you. But I am not like you. I am with you, but I am not like you. The effort consolidate karna padega. So greet them. Greet them. Gift them. Kya karo? Gift them. Chote chote gifts do. And, and be a gracious host to them. Be a gracious. Ramzan ki puri biryani hamech khalena nizara. Unko bhi khalena. 
today people want to create hatred we are going to create love fire cannot be doused by fire fire can be doused only by water be a gracious host to them and the fourth thing grieve for their hidayat in the dead of the night in front of allah subhanahu get up in tahajjud and do dua allah hidayat de de allah hidayat de de allah will make us a source of hidayat for them inshallah so we have to take our deen into our professions into our colleges and we have to go to the colleges with this speaker and when it is time for namaz sab kaam chhod do when it is time for namaz sab kaam chhod do now the call of allah has come if i fulfill that call then the help of allah will be there in my efforts and if i do not fulfill that call then i will be working without the help of allah sir we have seen doctors mashallah when it is time for namaz they make such an arrangement that they perform namaz in operation theaters namaz qaza nahi kar sakte to sab niyat karo everyone make intention inshallah from today we are not going to miss even one time salat inshallah sab ne intention kiya kisne intention kiya zara aa batao it is to get the help of allah subhanahu wa taala to make difficult things easy allah has given namaz inna salata tanha anil parchai wal munkar a person who is steadfast in namaz all the bad qualities from him will start going out automatically they start going out. so we have to perform namaz wherever we are in whatever situation we are we have to do some adjustments i am seeing a patient for the past almost 2 hours and my bladder is full what can i do what will i do please please yeah. i'll just go and come believe me no doctor you see i am here miss then what will happen <laughs> when you can spend 5 minutes to get uh, to fulfill your nature's call this call from allah is bigger than that can't we spend 5 minutes we felt that is important so we got time for that we felt this is not important so we did not get time for So wherever we are, students, sab panch waqt ki namaz paabandi se padhe. Karenge inshallah, and we are going to be good students. One of our friends was there, still he is there, is the director of the hospital. Alhamdulillah, he he, he used to go in this entire uh, uh, occasions in the college. So he taught microbiology for the university, Mysore University. On the following year, in the magazine, there was a photo, micro maulana. What did they write? Photo micro molana in college. Molana in microbiology. No low quality. And we have to respect our elders. We have to respect our teachers. A person cannot get good knowledge and beneficial knowledge without respecting the teachers. knowledge is given by allah subhanahu wa taala and respect of teachers is a very important part of deen and what about parents what about parents allah they have got aspirations for their children they have seen dreams for you they have seen dreams for you they have got aspirations their huge talents and money is completely invested on their children a human being in in today's society a human beings 50% to 60% of his earnings are spent on their children their needs and education din ra e tamanna mera bachcha acha ho jaye mera bachcha acha ho jaye mera bachcha Achha, they have got dreams for you. They have got aspirations for you, my dear brothers. We have to become a source of solace and peace of mind for them. If we respect the parents, Allah's help is going to be there with us. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has equated the ibadat of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala with the obedience of the parents. Sab karenge na, insha Allah. So for that, we have to be attached to this work, so that repeatedly we get this booster dose. Our elders say, "Be connected, be protected. Be connected, be connected with the work of Dawa. 
then inshallah be protected with the fitna of dunya shaitan and nafs inshallah all are ready for that inshallah allah taala qabul farmaye mashallah before zuhar you brothers made intentions monthly once in jamaat then inshallah and be connected to your mosque where amal of daawat is going on try to give as much time as possible your free time for the effort of deen inshallah and in the vacations going out in the path of allah subhanahu wa taala for 10 days 20 days 40 days how much ever vacations you and after the courses four months in the path of allah subhanahu wa taala before starting any career inshallah all are ready for this inshallah allah taala amal ki taufeeq ata farmaye aur kya baat hai monthly hour for students it's very easy one sunday saturday asar to sunday isha we all as medical students we used to go out for one day during our mbbs days so then then we did our super specialties and after the specialties we went for four months in the path of allah subhanahu wa taala and then we started our practice and alhamdulillah by the barakat of that we feel we feel the blessings and mercy of allah subhanahu wa taala in our lives so we want you brothers also to adopt this model all are ready inshallah and the last on thursdays there is markaz ishtama in this very mosque between maghrib and isha there will be bayan students can spend maghrib to isha and then inshallah in bangalore we used to go to the markaz ishtama uh, most of our students they used to go for the ishtama less but for the food more very tasty food we used to get in the markaz of bangalore <laughs> so we used to go for the ishtama listen to the bayan we were more interested in the food because in the markaz the food is very tasty <laughs> alhamdulillah tabligh walon ka khate khate tabligh ka kaam karne lage to ishtama mein aaye inshallah aayenge bhai apni apni masjidon se attach rahe aur jamaaton mein inshallah jaate rahe aur agar mashwara ho jata hai it is decided by mashwara once in a month we are we are we are just uh, uh, contemplating on it that all the sathis who have spent time who are little fikr man they will gather for one hour and do the fikr of all the colleges agar wo mashwara ho jata hai to second sunday ko inshallah theek hai do hazrat ki do بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد المبارك وسلم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا دينا الا قضيته ولا ضرا الا كشفته ولا مرضا الا شفيته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والاخره هي لك رضا الا قضيتها ويسرتها يا ارحم الراحمين ويا كرم الاكرمين يا ذا الجلال والاكرام بيدك الخير انك على كل شيء يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث اصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرف طعي اللهم رزقنا علم التوحيد وعمل الإخلاص وحسن الخاتمة اللهم فقهنا في الدين وعلمنا القرآن الحكيم اللهم زينا بزينة الإيمان وشرفنا بشرف القرآن وأكرمنا بكرامات سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم يسر لنا أمور الدنيا والآخرة إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن سهلا إذا شئت اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فافعنا يا كريم يا رحيم يا الله 
اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وخطايانا كلها يا رب العالمين اللهم اعطقنا من النار وادخلنا الجنة الفردوس مع الأبرح ربنا تقبل دعاءنا إنك أنت السمير العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا رب رحمهما كما ربيانا الصغار صلي وسلم مبارك على رسولك سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمع آمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفه وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين The arrangement for uh, food, food has been made. Inshallah, please have your lunch and you can uh, disperse. Uh, Jazakumullah khair for coming and spending a valuable time. May Allah give you a great reward. And the Jamaat which uh, we are planning from Chennai to Mysore, Inshallah, we are planning to pre it to 13, 14, 15, since some students also are ready.